Hospital workers attacked and traumatized. You know, you know, I can't sleep. You know, it's like... A Fox undercover investigation revealing the disturbing number of attacks employees are facing. This is Fox 25 News at 10. It was the, the worst feeding I've ever taken in my life. Nurses from the state's premier psychiatric hospital are going public about workplace violence. Investigative reporter Mike Baudet has discovered disturbing, or is uncovering disturbing numbers from the Department of Mental Health about the frequency of patients attacking workers. This all started with the tip that the psychiatric facility is severely understaffed, due in part to the number of employees out of work on disability because of patient attacks. We track down nurses who've been attacked who worry someone is going to be killed, and they say it's a problem that's only getting worse. Now I have somebody holding my hair and somebody punching me from the right who had just kicked me in the back in the, the right hip. So... An emotional Lori Grover remembering the assault on her two months ago at Worcester Recovery Center and Hospital. The nurse was trying to restrain a patient who lunged at her with a metal shank when a female patient attacked her from behind. I'm just trying to protect my head and my face. Grover has been out on disability ever since from the 320-bed facility that opened in August 2012. The state-of-the-art psychiatric hospital features inviting shared community spaces, complete with a gift shop, library, hair salon, and community center. The nurses we spoke with say as the facility started receiving more patients, proper staffing levels were not maintained. Chris Delurba started working there last October and says patient attacks happen almost on a daily basis. The public isn't allowed in, so nobody knows what exactly is going on inside of that hospital. It's hiding a secret. Numbers Fox Undercover obtained from the Department of Mental Health reveal a disturbing pattern of attacks at the facility, and we discovered those attacks are on the rise. Since 2013, there have been 189 assaults on employees that have resulted in days off due to injuries, totaling 5,602 days missed. That's more than 15 years' worth of time off in just two years. If something doesn't change at this hospital, somebody is going to die there. It just infuriates and frustrates me because nothing's getting done. Almost every single person I work with, myself included, has been a victim of workplace violence. Karen Coughlin is vice president of the Massachusetts Nursing Association and a registered nurse at Taunton State Hospital for more than 30 years. She says patient attacks are on the rise at all mental health facilities around the state. She says the facilities aren't staffed properly and lack policies that would help prevent workplace violence. Adding to the problems in Worcester, nurses say staffing on the second and third shift was cut back in February despite the rising number of attacks. How bad is it up there? Would I ever consider working there at this moment in time? Not on your life. Not on your life. The Department of Mental Health turned down our request for an on-camera interview and instead sent us this statement, which reads in part, when an infrequent incident between staff and a patient occurs, there are both individual and systemic responses. We rely on a well-trained, compassionate staff dedicated to caring for individuals and ensuring their recovery. Our current DMH commissioner has been proactive in meeting with hospital management and direct care staff to address concerns. State Representative Patricia has been trying for more than a decade to reopen mental health units for difficult-to-manage patients, which closed more than a decade ago. Do you think the number of attacks could be reduced? I think they could be reduced if um, we did a couple of things. Um, if we did up the units, and secondly, if we changed um, how we train our people. You know, I get flashbacks of the incident, you know, you know, I can't sleep. Months later, Lori Grover's physical and psychological wounds haven't healed from the attack. An attack she says could have been prevented, but she fears help won't come soon enough to prevent another. It was the, the worst beating I've ever taken in my life. You know, I, nobody else should have to do that. You know, it, it's not worth a paycheck. The two patients who attacked Lori Grover are now facing criminal charges. Grover hopes she'll be back to work in the next couple of weeks. Meantime, there are even more bills under consideration on Beacon Hill that would address hospital safety. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.